Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm actually going to show you how to do a quick um, brush out and styling of my hair. My hair is really long so and I haven't trimmed it to do any like the typical vintage styles. So I just kind of work with what I have. I don't want to cut my hair off. I, kinda, I love it being long. And so um, we're just going to kind of see how it goes. Um, I've done a couple of different hairstyles and they've all kind of come out interesting. But today's a new day. So I'm hoping that with um, y'all watching with me, you know, watching with me and doing this with me, that will have my hair will actually play nicely today. So that's kind of what I'm hoping for. Um, I do have it kind of pulled back right now because I just did my makeup. So we're going to go ahead and get started and hopefully it goes well. Okay, so I used a curling iron because I did try sponge rollers. I am not a sponge roller expert by any stretch of the imagination. And it could, you could honestly tell because I had a poodle on my forehead. It was pretty bad. So um, today I just used a curling iron. I only curled the bottom half of my hair and just let it sit. Um, but I did curl the top and I pinned it with the curling iron. So isn't this lovely? It's so sexy. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take these out. Um, and hopefully my hair will do something cute today, because that would be fun, right? Okay, Ooh. pins for days, and I have no idea where everything, which direction everything is going. All right, whoa. This is an interesting look. I feel like I've got the poodle back on my forehead. Okay. I just kind of sprang right out of there, didn't it? All right. Oops, there's one. Okay. That's kind of fun. <laughs> My hair is always interesting to me. It mostly hates me, I'm pretty sure. Like, it hasn't come right out and, like, said that it hates me, but I feel like it kind of does. And I didn't really do a whole lot around the back because I honestly really don't like teasing my hair a whole lot. Which I know sounds kind of silly, but I don't. Okay. So I'm going to slide that back a little bit. Okay. I probably say okay an awful lot, don't I? No. Oh, and look, it did something. It never does anything. <laughs> My hair. It did a little something something. It usually never plays as nice with me. I'm not even gonna lie. Usually my hair just does whatever the heck it wants to do, and I just am in, I'm forced to like just kind of deal with it because I'm pretty sure it needs me. Okay, so I'm gonna try and part it. Find my hand in my tail comb. Okay. Now I have watched a lot of tutorials, so I feel like I am a hair tutorial watching expert at this point. So, can you be such a thing? Yes, you can be. So, I am going to leave that alone for a minute. Ow. Now I'm pulling my hair. Look at that, it's like actually doing like an S curl. I'm so proud of my hair right now. I just don't know. We are going to have to tease it some though, because I need it to have some actual height up here. Oh, oh, oh. Is there any way to like tease my hair so y'all can see it without me being like in the way of the whole thing? I don't think so. I've got my grandmother's flabby arms, so sorry about that. I'm trying to like tuck my elbow and see so how to like endure my, elbow, my uh, arm flab too much. Now we're going to, how lovely that is, 
I'm going to spray this. I'm using Garnier for teas. Hairspray. Okay. So now the idea is, from what I have seen, oh, that, that is some sexy shit right there. That's, uh, that's a sexy beast pompadour right there. Look at that. Oh yeah, that is some sexy stuff. Okay, back to this. Come over the top, and right there, and I'm going to spray it and clip it with one of these handy dandy duck build platypus pins. Called. So I've got my duck build platypus pin. I am not left handed, but we're going to try to do this this way. Okay. You know, I'm not even like, I don't even like, not, I don't even hate that. It's actually kind of cool. Is it how every 50s lady would want their hair? Probably not. But you know what? My hair typically hates me. So at this point, whatever my hair decides to do, as long as it's not completely atrocious, I'm going to let it go with. So yeah. I do have hair clips, though, that I'm actually going to put in my as long as it's under my arm. <laughs> nice. Blessing. I need a chemical-free hairspray. <laughs> Is there such a thing? Well, we're gonna do some dees. Haha. With our duckbill platypus pin. So I don't know what it's doing. I do have my curling iron still on though in case I need it to like, you know, touch something up. That's not terrible. I don't like that. I mean, as you can see, my hair is like so long. Let me touch it down a little bit. But that's not terrible. I mean, it's done way worse things to me, guys. Y'all don't understand some of the stuff that I have had to go through my hair. It just typically doesn't like to do anything. It's like, oh, mm, that's nice. How cute. You want a hairstyle? <laughs> Let me show you a hairstyle. And then it just kind of proceeds to do whatever it wants. And usually with me kicking, screaming, and crying <laughs> in the distance. Alright, so there's that. Let me take out this one. This is just a matter of getting it to curl and do something not quite so atrocious. Put that back there for a second. Okay, so this wants to do its thing over there, which is fine. We can do it right there. And this one likes to go that way, so we'll let it do its thing over this way. Kind of. Maybe see if we can get the two to communicate a little bit. I honestly feel like this has been the most successful vintage hairstyle my hair has done. <laughs> so I'm probably going to stop messing with it and just let it be at this point. Yes, normally, like I said, my hair does not do anything that I 
highlight for today. And so I will curl this little bit here. And like I said, I'm probably going to get all kinds of comments and stuff, and that's cool. Comment away. But I mostly started learning how to do this because I decided um, the wedding dress that I found for myself is a 1950s swing style dress. And it's so pretty. It really is. And I'd always loved the design aesthetic, aesthetic, aesthetic? The design aesthetic of the 1950s. I just thought it was so cool, and I love the cars. And so my, my soon-to-be husband is a gearhead, and I love cars too. I love going to car shows and that sort of thing, and I just kind of feel like this style lended itself rather nicely to both of us. Um, you know, it's a time when you could have cars and pretty much all the conveniences that we enjoy nowadays, minus cell phones maybe, and I don't feel like that's necessarily a terrible thing. Um, so anyhow, so, I definitely, you know, I love that whole design aesthetic. And so when I found my dress and it was so pretty and it's kind of, you know, definitely for a 1950s uh, swing style. And I just thought, wow, it's like so pretty. And then I started looking more into um, just the more fashion. And then I started looking into just, you know, homes and stuff and like what was available out there. And I am hooked. Um, not even going to lie, totally, totally hooked on the whole thing. And so now I'm looking for like houses built in the 50s. I'm looking for furniture from the 50s. And yeah, I am totally like all in for the win, let me tell you. Um, because I think it's amazing. And just the innovation, you know, from then till now is just amazing, I think. Okay, so I'm going to unclip this. Kind of give it a little bit of a shaky shake and leave this side like that. Um, and then I'm going to take my glasses off for a second because I can't pin it. I'm going to let the puffer really in here in, in here in a second. Because she's about to start wailing at me, I can tell. Because she's eyeballing me through the screen. Why are you doing your hair? Okay. And that. Is that. So. Let me see if I can touch it back up again. So you guys can kind of see it. So. That's that. That's my hair for the day. That's my face for the day. Um, thank you guys so much for joining me. And um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below, hit the bell icon, it does something. Um, but yeah, let me know if you like it. I would love to do some more videos with you guys as I learn to do more things with my hair and learning more makeup techniques and that sort of thing. Um, just please let me know and um, you know, comment down below if you have any suggestions or ideas of other things you'd like to see. Um, I do have some other videos coming up that I want to do. I want to do kind of a... Uh, 50s housewife cleaning video and um, I do have some more young living videos coming up as well and yeah so that's pretty much it um, any questions my information is down below as well thank you guys so much for watching and for listening to me babble as I try to figure things out I really appreciate it um, y'all have an amazing day stay safe out there and of course as always stay oily because you don't want to be dry you want to be oily just say it Love you guys. Bye.